This morning, Columbia University is boosting security ahead of the Passover holiday with more protests expected around campus. The school now adding 35 guards and more than 100 additional safety personnel. <laughs> Pro-Palestinian demonstrators have gathered at the school since last week, rallying against the Israel-Hamas war and at times using violent rhetoric. <laughs> Videos online show protesters promising to carry out massacres, similar to the Hamas attack of October 7th, chanting phrases like, we are Hamas. A rabbi associated with the university is now urging Jewish students to go home saying Columbia University's public safety and the NYPD cannot guarantee Jewish students safety. New York's mayor says he's horrified by the hate speech, but says because Columbia is private property, the NYPD can't stay on campus unless the school requests it. Police made multiple arrests at a protest near campus Saturday, days after arresting more than 100 people on campus when the university's president asked law enforcement to clear out an encampment. The mass arrests and the suppression of students, I would say that's galvanized us. This is nothing compared to what people in Palestine are dealing with. People in Gaza, they are starving. They have lost everything. Overseas, the Israeli military is vowing to carry out a ground offensive targeting militants in the southern Gaza city of Rafah, where airstrikes yesterday killed 22 people, including 18 children, according to the Hamas-run health ministry. Meanwhile, Israeli leaders are criticizing an expected decision by the U.S. to withhold military aid from a unit of the Israeli military accused of human rights violations in the West Bank, an unprecedented move that could widen the rift between President Biden and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. And we have breaking news now from Tel Aviv. The head of Israel's military intelligence has resigned over the failures stemming from that October 7th attack. This is the first senior figure to step down after the Hamas attack.